should you rent a car when you come to Hawaii? Mm, it depends. Here are the most common questions we get asked about renting a car for your Hawaii vacation. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Bonus, we'll talk about also how to drive with Aloha because you need to slow down, you ain't on the mainland, brah. That, that's a bumper sticker here in Hawaii, I'm paraphrasing it. Yeah. <laughs> question we get asked last, do you need a rental car when you come to Hawaii? Basic question. Yeah. We say it depends. So we believe the best experience all the island has to offer, it's good to have a rental car. You're in charge of your own destiny, you have better, it's more time efficient, even more cost effective than grabbing a bunch of Uber and Lyfts to get around. We say that, but you can get around without a rental car, right? Especially if you're on Oahu. Oahu is the best one. You can stay in Waikiki, a central location, and you can take Uber, Lyft, public transport, you have the bus, it'll take you all around the island. It might just take longer than driving yourself, but you will save a considerable amount of money, which we'll get to that later. But other islands like Kauai, you don't have great public transport. It's made for more of like the locals to get around to the, the working locations and Uber and Lyft can be more expensive. Yeah. So Kauai is not great. For our Hawaii itineraries that we have linked down below, we recommend getting a rental car because we take you all around the island on these great excursion days. Yeah. So it's nice to be in charge of your own destiny. Another thing to consider is like if you're on Maui, and you want to do a beach vacation, then you're not planning on doing a lot of activities. So you probably don't need a rental car. Stay in a place like Ka'anapali, the resort area, and you can have a wonderful time. And you can even take, the, they call it the Lahaina Loop, the Uber drivers. Yes. So they pick people up in Ka'anapali, they take them down 10 minutes down the road to Lahaina, and they go back again. So it's easy to get around, have a nice beach vacation while saving money without a rental car. All right, when should you book your rental car? Good so question. prices ebb and flow based on demand, just like anywhere else, book it early. We like to say when you book your flight, book your rental car at the same time. One of the options we like to use is Discount Hawaii Car Rental because they let you lock in a car, they let you reserve it, and you don't prepay. So this is with a national carrier, but you can make a reservation, and then if prices go down, Cancel later, it and rebook it. It's exactly. great. It's wonderful. And they, like she said, goes with all the national carriers, thrifty dollar birds. They get really good deals. We've mm -hmm. stayed hundreds of dollars with them, had a great experience with them. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, how much is a rental car on the island? We're not gonna say. We've said in other videos and people are like, that's not the price anymore. Prices change a lot, especially for the holidays. It can get very expensive. Thanksgiving, Christmas time, they go up with demand. Yeah. So price will skyrocket even during the summer too. So book early for rental car. Book it when you get the flight six mm -hmm. months out or more. And this leads us into the next question. Should you book local or with a big national company? We like to book local car rental companies. You can save some money. There's a lot of rent to rent companies out there, more like older cars, they still run great. You can save a good amount of money with them. We have our favorite local rental car companies on our website. The link is down below for those. It's a nice way to support local businesses. Yeah. Also, Turo is another option that's popular here on the islands. A lot of local families are now renting out their cars to make extra money. So Turo is a nice option. Make sure to look at your insurance though to see how your insurance handles Turo for those. But the national car carriers can be well priced, especially during a low season. You can get a brand new car with a national carrier. They're all here, they're all right at the airports. Yeah. So it makes it very convenient. Some of the local car companies are off airport, but they offer shuttles. It's still pretty nice. Yeah. We did try Turo on the big island. We rented from a local family. They were great. They picked us up at the airport, dropped the car off at the airport for us. We got to meet them. We had a great time with their car. It went very smooth. Yeah. That was our personal experience. Our community and our newsletter says they've had good experience with it too. So yeah. figure out what's best for you and where you want to find the right car and the experience you want on your rental car experience. Experience. Lots, lots of experiences. <laughs> All right, this isn't a question we get, but I'll frame it as a question. Are there any unexpected costs with rental cars, Erica? <laughs> that is a great question, Jordan. We get it a lot. No, a lot of people don't realize that when you're staying at a hotel or even some vacation rentals, there are going to be parking fees in addition to your room rate. So if you are renting a car, you can expect parking fees of 
30 to $45 a night, which adds significantly to your budget. And like Waikiki has a few options where you can park yourself, but they're hard to get to and there's a lot of issues with those. But like when you're like in Kaanapali or in the Kohala Coast on the Big Island, there's nowhere else to park. You really can't drive somewhere for parking, so you're kind of stuck paying those fees. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of All right, we're off. All right, this one we do get asked a lot. Do you need a Jeep or a four wheel drive vehicle when you come to Hawaii? I get it. I love watching movies too. You think your vacation is going to be a big Jurassic Park ride. Yeah. Or the roads are in good shape. The roads are in great shape here. They're, it's a good place to drive. You don't need a Jeep. You don't need a four wheel drive vehicle. But they are a lot of fun yes. to get. If we see a good rate on Hawaii Discount Car Rental for a Jeep, we'll usually get it because there's so much fun to drive a Jeep around. You can take the top down. It goes with a convertible too. It's kind of fun to take this stuff on about. If you find yourself on a road that you wish you had a Jeep, you shouldn't be on that road. Respect the Aina, respect the land. Don't go where you shouldn't be going. Stay on the roads and the, the main thrill fairs. There's no secret beaches that you should be taking a road to that you feel like you might get stuck. You shouldn't be on that road. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this one's a little tricky, right? Just because of the data. Our car break-ins common in Hawaii, right? Everyone knows what a rental car looks like when you live on Hawaii for like two weeks. So you think they can be targeted, but based on the police's reports we find, in Maui they publish their police reports weekly on car break-ins. We don't see tourist cars being targeted. It's a lot of local cars being targeted. But we still say you gotta be you gotta be careful out there, right? Yeah. Like beaches hiking trailheads. Those are common places. They're easily targeted locations for car break-ins. So don't leave valuables in your car. Don't leave stuff out. Yeah. It, it kind of goes, same advice that goes with all over the country, right? So that's what we see. That's our experience with it. But always be prepared to avoid a car break-in. Just be smart about it. Leaving your valuables in your car is never a great idea. Put them in your trunk, stuff like that. There are some baggage location storage options if you have that red-eye flight. Mm. That's a good one too. Another one, are gas prices high in Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah, they're really yeah. high. Yeah, <laughs> it costs a lot. That's the best California, but they're still really high. A good tip is to fill up at Costco. They're usually located near the airport, so it makes it filling up easy. Even Safeway Express now has very competitive gas prices. Or don't worry about it and just fill up anywhere. Bonus tips, driving with Aloha when you're in Hawaii. I'm just gonna rattle some off. Slow down is the biggest one. You're not on the mainland. The speed limits are actually pretty low here in Hawaii. It's usually 45 miles per hour, 55. It's rare you ever find 65 miles an hour. I think the only place is on Oahu on the Big H1. Avoid honking the horn. No one honks their horn here. Just don't honk your horn. It's not polite. You never hear it, right? Never do. Now, traffic, traffic is getting worse, right? I'm talking about the neighbor islands. On Oahu, it's already rated one of the worst places for traffic in the world consistently. Terrible. The freeways get bad. Avoid rush hour during normal rush hour times early in the morning and then in the evening for your commute. Just you're on vacation. You don't have to travel during rush hour. Now, for, I'm afraid traffic accidents and fatalities are on the rise on Oahu. So drive cautiously when you're out there. Keep your hands swivel. Another big thing, they call it rainbow traffic. When there's a rainbow, people slow down to take pictures. Please don't do that, right? You just keep driving, focus on the road when you're out there. Also too though, West Maui, Maui in general is starting to get really bad traffic, especially during the summer rush. They've been doing a lot of construction, even around Kihei. So we recommend check Google Maps before you head out, especially if you're going to the airport or some activity, check the traffic before you go out. So that's driving with Aloha when you're on the islands. We hope that helps. Uh, stay safe out there on the roads if you decide to get a rental car. Now for unique rental options, right? You don't have to get a rental car. You can get a Jeep, which is fun. You can get a convertible, but you can also get some really unique things. Like they rent a Porsche Roadster on Maui. They have these Polaris slingshots that people love to drive around on, these three-wheel drive ones. A lot of people save money by getting a 50cc moped to hop around. It's kind of scary on the bigger roads, on the highways. Maybe it's nice to go around the local areas. Even a Harley Davidson, you can rent a motor 
motorcycle on, on islands to go touring. They have so many things to rent just for like one day or two days. Try something fun. If you want to skip those high gas prices, rent a Tesla or another electric car. We yeah. have our little Leaf. We love driving <laughs> it around. And a lot of the resorts now, especially luxury resorts, have electric car charging. So it keeps it really convenient. Yeah. Figure out if a rental car is right for you. Oahu, you can probably get by without one. The other islands, we'd recommend getting one. So we hope these tips help you feel more comfortable renting a car, hopefully saved you a few dollars. Like we said, Discount Hawaii Car Rental and our favorite local rental car companies are down below in the description. Also down there, you'll find a link to our itineraries. Now that you have a rental car, grab our itineraries. We'll show you the best places to go on the island in these perfectly planned out excursion days. Just download and go. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. People absolutely love them. We have a lot of fun making them and updating them every few months. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Good job, bud. Shut the doors. Come on, Hattie girl. Good girl, Hattie girl. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Ah, Hawaii Rental Car 101.